What's going on guys? Uh, today, working on the Rambler. You see, hood's open. Uh, not necessarily a good thing today. Um, I had somewhat of a slipped shift the other day and the motor revved a little high and now I have some ticking up top. Um, hoping it's either the... Uh, uh, I think it's probably just a push rod. So we're going to pull the push rods out to see if they're all straight. Uh, I hear ticking on both sides, so maybe a bent push rod on both sides. Uh, we'll see though. I'm going to pull it out and see what we can find. Should be pretty easy. I've had the car sit for about 36 hours to try and let some of that oil kind of drain and not make a giant mess. So we're going to begin this. Um, test the push rods out. I'll show you guys how to pull the push rods, how to see if they're straight. Basically just roll them on a, a flat surface. So I'm going to do that right now. So this is not a tight engine bay by any means, but just to make the job easier on myself, I'm going to remove the air cleaner. And then uh, once this is off, it's not going to free up a whole lot of space, but it will give us a little bit. See, we have some things in the way, just hoses mainly. Um, going to undo my wires back there, just because the uh, the loom of sorts is on the nut there. Um, and then these on the AMCs are super easy. You just have the two two wing nuts and do the front one. We'll do the rear. So even though uh, it has been sitting, I'm guessing there's going to be some oil that comes out. So I'm going to go get a couple of rags and line the bottom just so we don't make a huge mess. Probably make a little bit of a mess, but not a big deal. So just line some, uh, just just some shop rags down there. Uh, I don't know how much oil is going to come out of here, so this will be a bit of a learning experience for us all. Kind of loose. I might even get lucky and none comes out. Uh, <laughs> As far as I can tell, is oh nope. That one, it's hard to see, but that one looks bent to me. That one looks good. You can just roll them in here and get an idea. Sometimes that one looks good. That one doesn't look terribly bent, but it does look bent, so uh, I'm going to pull these these rockers off. You can see we have oil up here, but it didn't make a mess, which is good. Um, I'm going to pull these rockers off, uh, pull all of the push rods, and we'll, we'll test them all. Um, since they are roller rockers, we don't need to mark which ones, all of them. I, I should re-specify, since all lengths are the same, we don't need to mark which ones are which. Uh, we're just going to pull them out and... Uh, test them all and then we can put back in the good ones and I have new ones on the way so they should be here today. Alrighty so I got the, the rocker shaft is loose uh, just because of things back here I'm gonna have a hard time getting it in and out so I'm just gonna leave it in. It should hopefully give us enough room to pull these push rods out and around. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna remove them all and uh, go from there. So here's the other four from the passenger side, just doing one at a time. That one looks fine.
That one also looks fine. That one seems to have a little wobble to it as well. I'm going to put that one aside. That one seems to have the slightest bit of wobble. I'll put that one aside too. I have 16 more coming, so um, might as well not use them. I'm probably just going to put the new 16 in, but just trying to check and see if this is for sure my issue. So going to go over and do the driver's side now and uh, hopefully find something a little more convincing there. So I should check while I'm over here. All the valve springs look good to me. Well, it doesn't look like we busted a valve spring or anything of that nature. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll dig the other side out and see what we find. So same thing over here, just going to remove the two valve cover wing nuts. Um, I just put one piece of towel down there this time because the other one is keeping the fender from getting too dirty. This one's a little less tight so I think it should come off a little bit easier. but. Uh, I was hearing the noise on both sides, so I'm thinking I might have bent the push rod on both sides. Um, I do have 16 coming in from O'Reilly's, was able to get them in. I went in on Sunday, and they should be here today. So, so again, just kind of rotating them here. That one seems fine. That one might have a little bit of a bend to it. That one seems fine. That valve is open. That one definitely gets close. Uh, that might be this, the cause of our noise right there. That one looked fine. Check these ones out quick. I can't get a good finger on that one. So, Alright, gonna pull this uh, rocker shaft off and pull these out again um, on this side. Same process, so I'm not going to film it. We'll see how they look. Alright, so I got the uh, driver's side out. Took them out in order from front to rear. So this is uh, cylinder 1, 3, 5, and 7. Uh, just going to start with these. It's a little easier to see if you start with them and roll them. You can see underneath if they are bent or not. That one looks pretty good. They have color, they're like, I don't know, they have like casting marks on them, so they look a little, they look like they're wobbling and they're actually not, so I'll slow this down and it might make a little bit more sense. Um, still cylinder one. That looks pretty good to me. Now that one might be bent actually. Pile. These things are only two bucks a piece, so if they're bent, might as well replace them. Going on to cylinder three. And look, we're trying this one, which is the last one. Also straight, so it looks like I have six here that are questionable. I'm going to replace them all. Uh, I'll keep these ones because I know they're straight. I'm going to keep them for the new motor. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to pick up the new push rods here shortly and I will update you guys when I get them and uh, we'll get them put in there and see if this noise goes away. I didn't get a video of the noise because I was worried about it being lifters as well and if it's lifters I don't want to screw up that flat tap at cam just because blanks are tough to find. I do have two currently but uh, I'd just rather not screw it up. Alright guys, so I got all new uh, 
seal power push rods. The last ones were were melling. I compared them. They're like identical. I'm willing to bet they're made in the same place. They're just stamped different part numbers. Uh, seal powers are a little bit expensive, but whatever. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, also grabbed some just some assembly loop to put on the ends, just because there was oil on there before, and want to make sure I get the oil down into the lifters uh, since they're hydraulic or some sort of lube. So, um, yeah, that's that. I'm going to start putting in the passenger side and then we'll move over to the driver's side. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have a cloth here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. Um, just enough to kind of lube these push rods up. I'm going to run them through the oil and then I'm going to put the assembly lube on each end and I will place it in the motor. Alrighty, so we're all in here. I didn't film it just because it's a tough angle to film without a uh, tripod. But uh, all the push rods are in. Um, they're all loose. They're all looking pretty good. I haven't torqued yet. Um, just going to do the other side and make sure everything looks relatively close to the same on that side. Looks like we have exhaust open on cylinder 2 right now. Which means that... I'll have to look up the firing order, but we should have an intake open on the other side. Alrighty guys, we are all set up in here. Um, everything looks pretty good as far as I can tell. I'm just going to do a once over. I have them torqued down rather lightly, but torqued down nonetheless. So, um, just both sides are good. Just doing a once over, make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, we have exhaust open on cylinder 2 and intake open on cylinder 5 it looks like. So that's where we're at now. I'm going to spin it with uh, no spark and just see what we get. Just make sure everything is working as expected. And then I'm going to, uh, should be able to get everything torqued down properly, get the valve covers on and start her up. So I just ran everything real quick just to jump, double check everything. Um, and it looked good. So I'm going to torque these down. The torque rating is 65 to 70 foot pounds on each of the four. I'm going to start in the center, we'll start here, go to the next one, come back, and then finish in the rear. Same on this side, uh, I'm just going to torque them down, get them into spec, and uh, should be able to start the car up with the valve covers on. We are all back together, uh, push rods in, valve covers obviously on. Uh, I'm going to throw the air cleaner on after we start it, just because there's some excess fuel in there. And Better safe than sorry. Um, so I'm going to give it a crank. I gave it a couple cranks and everything looked good. Everything seems to be acting correctly. So um, I think we should be okay. So I'm going to give it its first crank here and I got to open the garage door first, and, but we'll just see how it goes. Alrighty, first crank, here we go. Something didn't sound right. I'm gonna go check it out. So I'm not sure if you guys could hear there, but I had some pretty audible noise over on this side. Um, just talking to a few people and kind of worried about a collapsed lifter or something like that, so I didn't run it too long. Um, thinking our next steps are probably pulling off this top half of the intake, the valley cover, and seeing what's all going on down there. Uh, might as well replace all the lifters while we're there. I might drop the oil first. I don't know, it's hard to say. I won't be able to tell how the cam lopes are until I get the lifters out. So, uh, that's probably what I'm going to do here next. So, not really an exciting video. Probably a little less exciting for me because I'm going to deal with this now. But I will update you guys as I go. Um, it's weird that it got louder with the new push rods. That's a little concerning, but everything looked okay to me. So, I think it, it's probably a collapsed lifter. And I'm hoping I didn't tear up that cam too much. So. We'll, uh, we'll see here shortly. I'm going to look into it a little bit more, and I'll update you guys as I go. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you look forward to seeing what the actual issue is, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.